drugs, which are routinely used to treat tens of millions of men for erectile dysfunction, may also assist in the arduous and slow chemotherapy treatment of esophageal cancer. This is just a nasty disease. Hi there. I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and this is the latest from Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates. Research funded by Cancer Research UK and the Medical Research Council finds that PDE5 inhibitors help to shrink tumors in the esophagus and reverse a patient's resistance to chemotherapy. Numerous PDE5 inhibitors are used to treat erectile dysfunction. Okay, cut me some slack on these names. Sildenafil, that's Viagra. Vardenafil, that's in Levitra. Tadalafil, that's what's in Cialis. And Ivanafil, that's what's in Stendra. These ED drugs can potentially work in tandem with chemotherapy to target cancer-adjacent fibroblasts, that's CAFs, which are in and around the edges of esophageal tumors. And these tumors often worsen rapidly because the throat microenvironment that surrounds the tumor consists of these CAFs, malignant molecules, and tainted blood vessels, which all form a protective cloak against chemotherapy. Anyone who's dealt with this ugly disease in their family knows it's a hard battle to win. Esophageal tumors often show zero response to chemotherapy due to the protective microenvironment that they form. Professor Tim Underwood of the University of Southampton led a team which treated an esophageal tumor microenvironment with PDE5 inhibitors. Nine of the 12 samples tested showed positive signs that the tumor became sensitive to the ED drug treatment. Additional tests involving mice implanted with chemotherapy-resistant esophageal tumors found no adverse side effects to the PDE5 treatment. <laughs> I'm guessing there might have been some other side effects. I mean, I'm just saying. Researchers say they are hopeful that continued testing may lead to easing chemotherapy for a multitude of cancer patients. At the very least, some say it might shrink the tumors enough to make surgery more successful. Now, research is still ongoing. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head on over to studyfinds.com.